Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, um, a quick announcement. My fire alarm, I need to, my God, I need to fix it again. It's chirping, so if you hear any beeping in the background, that's because why I, I need to fix it. Um, but anyways, welcome back to my channel. I haven't gone for a cool minute. Um, but yes, we're doing another pick a card here based on who is into you and why. I have four groups this time, starting with pile one on the far left, pile two, pile three, and pile four on the far right. Um, and just another reminder that I am doing $5 personal readings. All that info you can find down below in the description box. And let's get started on pile one on the far left. Hello guys, welcome to your reading. Once again, please excuse my fire alarm in the back. It's chirping. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and figure out who is into you and why, right? So we got a few cards here to start off with. And the first card you guys have is Temperance. So we have a strong Sagittarius coming out. You guys could be a Sagittarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. And last but not least, we have the Three of Wands. Okay, group one. So, um, Sagittarius or not, there is a uh, person here who is very, I kind of want to say fixed on you in a sense where they do want to come forward. They do want to offer you something and they want to offer you something stable. Why I say that is because we have this beautiful, beautiful Ace of Pentacles here. Um, I love the Ace of Pentacles when it comes down to relationships because this is taking things slow. This is someone who really wants to offer commitment, stability, growth, and um, just all kind of healthy things, you know, quite possibly putting a ring on it or quite possibly just, you know, asking you a question that's going to take this relationship to the next level here. Um, I'm getting whoever this person is with temperance. I feel like they have a really chill energy about them. They're very cool, calm, relaxed, very go with the flow. They could be into spirituality, but I'm getting this person with temperance here with the angel wings. They could really come off just very sweet, very pure. This could be how they see you here with temperance. Some of you guys can have long brown hair, or if this is a guy, um, I feel like they could have um, brown hair. And I feel like it could be short, but kind of long. I'm getting like beachy, kind of. Okay, they could have some like blonde brown highlights. They could live by the beach. They could live by a lake. But I'm also getting that this person, um, they could be taking their time towards you here, all right? Because temperance is all about patience. It's all about divine timing. So I feel like they really are just trying to um, feel out the connection. But so far, um, they're liking how things are going. With the two of swords being in the reverse, I feel like something was shown to them or they kind of made the decision finally to um, move forward. Something clicked for them that was like, okay, I I know what I want to do when it comes to this connection. So with the Three of Wands, I feel like, once again, Three of Wands talks about pa patience and planning and uh, setting goals, things like that. So I feel like they're really, for some of you, they're thinking about giving you a ring. Okay. For others of you, um, you know, who's into you and why. So, you know, this could be you here. You could be someone who's just very chill. You mind your own business. You are someone who is focused on your stability, focused on your outcome. And I feel like for a lot of you, there's a friend who is into you. And with the three of wands, you guys could just have your attention and focus somewhere else and this person um they're they're into you because of that you know people like what they can't have sometimes 
but I'm just really getting that this person thinks that you are um, a great individual with good qualities, qualities that they see with someone who would make a very great partner, a very great friend. So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. Let's see. Let's pull these cards. I'm being led to these tarot cards here, so let's see. So group one, we do have a strong Sagittarius. Or maybe you guys could be a sign. So we have the tower and the star card. So I think it's pretty crazy that these cards are coming out together because in original tarot, the star card does come after the tower card, right? You know, we have destruction here and then we have healing. So, um, you know, as far as signs, once again, we have a strong Aquarius and the tower is also known to be um, Scorpio, okay? So I feel like um, either you and this person have definitely been through a lot or um, this person just knows about some difficulties that you may have had in the past and they're really quite fascinated with you here because they see you healing yourself, you know, especially with temperance and the star here. These are two people just very much in their element, um, minding their own business, not really letting any troubles bring them down, right? You know, temperance is mixing fire and water. Like, what the hell? Like, that's kind of impossible to mix. But she's out here. She looks like she's enjoying her time. She's like, I got this. I got this. You know, nothing to worry about. So they admire your strength. They admire your humility. They admire your character here. And some of you guys are in the public eye. Or some of you guys... Um, you know, there's just some kind of shine about you with the star card here. Um, I do get a sense that this person may be coming towards you, group one, with the star card. The star card could represent um, someone who is returning. Yeah, we have an Aquarius male here. Please excuse my camera. You know, this Aquarius could be going through a lot of things in their life. You guys could be an Aquarius. We have a Four of Swords. So yeah, I feel like you guys could be quite reserved people. I'm getting like you guys could be introverts, extroverts, or this could be how this person is. But I feel like you inspire this person, you give them hope in some kind of way, and they're just extremely attracted to your body as well with the star card here. They like your authenticity, yes, this is it. Group four, whoever this person is or these people are, they are into you because of your authenticity. You're someone real, you're someone who um, it's just you. Some of you guys are bartenders. All right. So let's see, let's see. Let's pull from these, this oracle deck here. Give us a quick shuffle. Wow, so we have angel of strength in the reverse. So there could also be a Leo who is into you. I feel like this Leo is not in their power though. This Leo... Um, may have some fears or feel intimidated when it comes to you. So I feel like they could be watching you from a distance. 
Yeah, I feel like there's a Leo who is quite shy or they're just they're just watching you. Like you see the way this four of swords person is kind of just looking at the star card. Like they're just watching you. We have contract and we also have a Libra coming out. So this uh, Leo could have Libra in their chart or this could be just a Libra. But group one, I feel like there's multiple people who are into you here. And you know, the star card could also represent someone who is very independent. This is someone who is just doing things on their own. So I feel like you guys have a lot of admirers. You guys have a lot of people who are into you. And it's like, you could be friends with these people or you could just be good people to them. You know, you're just good vibes and they're attracted to that, okay? They're, they're attracted to that. We have cornucopia at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys could have obtained a lot in your life um, in some kind of way here. These people are, are fascinated by that. They see you as a... Uh, like a really good option. <laughs> okay, group one. So let's see what else wants to come out. Do, 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 do. Let's see, let's see. Invest in yourself. Yeah, so I'm just getting you guys could be people who are very focused on you Focused on your money focused on your projects focused on your own growth And who doesn't want to be surrounded by someone who is doing that right? Pay me wow yeah, so I feel like you guys are just, you know, kind of living the single life, maybe the player life a little bit. And there's almost something like untouchable about you. There's almost something quite reserved, quite special, where these people want to get close to you, but I feel like there's some intimidation as well, but also fascination. Some of you guys with the tower card may have been very straight up with some people about how you feel about them or how, um, you know, just trying to be as real as possible when it comes to some connections with these people, but they respect it here. All right. So group one, that is all I have for you guys. I hope this resonated. Please let me know down below. Um, and I'm going to move on to group two. Thanks, group one. Hey group two, welcome to your reading. Um, once again, please excuse my fire alarm. It is chirping. I know I need to fix it. Um, but anyways, let's hop right in and see who is spying or who is spying, who is into you and why, right? So we got a few cards here. First card that we have is the seven of cups in the reverse. We have the devil in the reverse. We have the Page of Cups, and then we have the Two of Wands. So um, right off the bat, group two, you guys could have a few people who are into you. I'm also getting there's a Capricorn who could be quite immature here uh, who is into you. But yeah, strong sign. We have, you know, the devil. The devil's known to be ruled by Capricorn. I feel like this Capricorn is going to make a move towards you. They are, um, they're going to express their feelings or they're going to make some kind of gesture here. I don't know if this person has already done that to, to you, but they are very interested in you with the two of wands. The two of wands, uh, describing a person to me is, is someone who's very passionate about the other. Okay. Um, I'm also getting another scenario, uh, group 
to there may be a water sign that you are also interested in and with the two of wands this could also denote two people on board with each other okay so I am getting a younger water sign or just someone who is quite young, maybe like 18 to 30. And uh, group two, I feel like there's some people watching you as well or there's one person here with the two of wands. I'm getting a few things, but I can't really express it, if you know what I mean. Um, but with the Seven of Cups of the Devil, this is a pretty, uh, you know, with them both reversed, it talks about getting out of cloudy situations. Getting out of unhealthy situations. So, you know, why these people or this person could be into you, group two, is because they see you as someone healthy. They see you as someone with, like, healthy passion, someone who just wants to do the best for them here, and someone, you know, with the page of cups to the two of wands, just wanting to express themselves, wanting to uh, be fully themselves here and explore their ideas, explore their passions. And they kind of just see you very healthy, okay? So let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So let's see, let's see. Group two, group two. This could have also been someone that you left behind, someone that you got out of some kind of connection with who is into you. Maybe you finally to start, maybe you finally started to see things or this person for how they were. Now I'm not saying they have to be a bad person, I'm just saying like you could have came to your um, senses. And maybe you're just not giving them the same attention that you were before. And they, they could be watching you. Let's see, who is into my group twos? We have the Prince of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I don't think this person's going to make a move. I feel like if it's a water sign, I'm thinking that there's a Capricorn who may try to make a move. Or maybe this person has. Um, you know, this could also be pertaining to the water sign, but I'm getting a strong water sign who is kind of just doing more fast, more like imagining or more watching. Let's see. Okay, my group twos. Who is into my group twos? Who is into my group twos and why? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So I'm getting Pisces, Sagittarius, Capricorn. Hmm. So yeah, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, who this person is, I feel like you may have tried or you guys have stopped seeing or talking with this person, but I feel like things are not fully closed with them, okay? Something's not fully closed out here. And I'm also getting this could be a person who kind of just doesn't get it. Like they don't under, like you could be dropping hints. Um, that you're not interested in them or whatever the case is here. And I feel like this person's just not really getting it. have the three of cups in the reverse so this could have been a friend this could have been someone you partied with 
you shared good times with, or, you know, you guys just could have gotten yourselves out of a third party situation with this person. And you guys just could have, you know, realized like, hey, like this isn't going to work for me. You know, this is hurting me. And you guys just may have Look the other way now. You guys may have walked away. This person sees that your feelings have changed and they're kind of just like watching you like, oh, hey, like, like, where is she going? You know, yeah, we have the chariot. Yeah, I feel like you guys have moved away victoriously from something. You guys could be a cancer or you guys could be dealing with the cancer. Yeah. This person could have put you in a third party relationship or maybe you put yourself into one. But I'm just getting here. Someone got up and, and left with the chariot. All right. So let's see what other cards want to come out. See group two, who is into my group twos? So we have caring connections and we have cornucopia. Yeah, so I feel like you guys may have been in a connection with this person. And if not, then I'm just getting that this is um, something where, you know, both of you guys just have like equal love for one another. But I feel like um, someone here had a change. You know, someone here just had to move away really is what I'm getting. I'm also getting there's a strong Sagittarius here and a strong Capricorn. But why this person is into you with caring connections and cornucopia is because I feel like um, like when you guys are together or what this person feels is that, you know, you, you're kind of always bringing growth to the connection. OK, I feel like this person knows that you inspire them to grow or they have noticed that you have changed or you have grown up. Um, something like that here because cornucopia talks about abundance. It talks about receiving some kind of gifts, fruits of labor here. And it's like this person really admires the love that you have gave them. This person could be in a relationship. And let's see what else wants to come out. Let's see who is into my group twos and why. So we have spells and candles wanting to come out. Interesting. Let's, let's see. Group two, who is into my group twos and why? So we have good vibes. So yeah, this person really enjoys your company. They really enjoy your vibes. They see that you are someone easygoing. And if you guys are leaving this person, it's like you're not, you're not being petty. You're not wanting to one up the person. It's like you're really just, they realize like you are, you are, you are cornucopia. Okay, you are um, something very valuable. Your energy is great. They feel like they could vibe with you. They feel like things are very easy going with you. We have the spell book really wanting to come out. So interesting. I want to grab a clarifier for the spells book.
Why is the spells book here? Growth looks so good on you. Keep doing you, babe. So what I'm getting here with the closed book is that you guys can be very reserved to a point where, you know, you're not just shutting people out or just wanting to be reserved for the hell of it. It's like, no, like this person knows that you are someone who is focused on your growth. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your mental, physical, and emotional health. And they just see you as like, you know, inspi like inspiring a little bit. They know that you're good people. Okay. So group two, that is all I have for you guys. Yeah, look, we have You Are Enough. Group two, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Please let me know down below. And I'm going to move on to group three. Thanks, group two. Hey group three, welcome to your reading. Please excuse my fire alarm. It is chirping. I'm terribly sorry about the noise. Uh, but let's go ahead and get right into it. Yep, that noise right there. Let's see who is into you and why, right? So we have a few cards here to start off with. And let's see what you've got. So the first card that we have is the star card in the reverse. So we have a strong Aquarius coming out. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. We have the six of wands in the reverse. And then we have the four of swords in the reverse. Okay, so um, group three, whoever this person is that is into you, I definitely feel like struggles with depression. They struggle with... Uh, some emotional and mental health issues is what I want to say. Um, and I feel like whether they realize it or not, they really do put their ego first, all right? I, I do feel like with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, this person is quite unstable. And I feel like they could also be losing some kind of sleep over you as well with the Four of Swords in the reverse. Okay, but as far as signs, we do have an Aquarius. We have a strong Aquarius. And I feel like this Aquarius or this person... You know, it's just going through a lot of difficulties in their life right now. I mean, we are going through Aquarius season. And from my experience, Aquarius season has been kind of difficult for me that I've noticed for the past two years because, you know, the star card, is, which is ruled by Aquarius, is, you know, it, it's known to be a card of hope, a card of faith. But in the reverse, it also talks about lack of hope, lack of faith. Um... And it just makes, it gets me in a mood where there's depression involved, okay? So I feel like this person could most definitely be going through that right now. They could not be feeling very confident with the Six of Wands happening here. And I'm also getting, you know, you guys may have left this person. You guys, um, or this person may have left you. Um, this person was having a hard time finding confidence in the connection, finding confidence within themselves. And I just feel like there's a lack of hope and faith. So uh, group three, whoever this person is, they're coming off quite insecure here, okay? It's just the energy that I'm getting. They could be an Aquarius Leo. All right. Yeah, there's something very unbalanced about this connection between you guys, you know, or if this is a random person, then I just feel like they're just not in a good place mentally, physically, and emotionally here. And they could be into you because they see you as someone who, you know, uh, kind of brings the things that they lack, all right? Or they're just kind of, you know, just imagining some things in their head. But so far, yes, we do have a strong Aquarius. 
So let's go ahead and pull some more tarot. I'm so excited. So let's see my group threes. Who is into my group threes? We have the two of wands, yeah. So with the two of wands, you know, I actually like this card from this deck because, you know, we don't really see a person. We just see an outline of a body with two hiking sticks is what I want to say with these are. So what this card always reminds me is someone who is finding themselves at this time, you know? So I feel like this person, it's like they're either going through a spiritual awakening right now or they're just going through another one. But I feel like you kind of bring this person hope. You bring this person inspiration. You are, yeah, it is what I want to say here with the two of wands. They can see you as someone who is very passionate about life, very passionate about your direction. We have the nine of wands and we also have the hanged man. So we also have a Pisces wanting to come out and we have the High Priest, which is the Hierophant in the reverse. So we also have a Taurus um, or this could have been a relationship, a connection that you guys just walked away from here. Um, either you or both of you guys are quite on the defense about this connection, but someone here is also hung up about it with the hangman here. Someone is hung up about it. Someone is also on the defense about a Pisces. Like you see the way that the Nine of Wands kind of guarding himself from this other man. You guys could also be very protective of your own energy. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what else wants to come out. Yeah, I'm getting group three that you guys could have been in a situation ship before or you guys just could have. actually been married or with one another but someone is hung up on you group three and I feel like you are just uh, quite pissed at them you're very hurt by the situation or you just definitely are sticking with your boundaries with your standards here I'm getting here someone feels embarrassed. Someone felt like the other person embarrassed them. We have a man holding a heart in the reverse. So we have a strong Pisces male coming through. Yeah, we have financial constraints with walking away. So I feel like someone here felt like they weren't getting what they deserved in the connection and they walked away. And I feel like this person just wants you back because they see you off in another direction. They're seeing you change. Magician in the mirror. Wow. So it could be a Gemini, Gemini Cancer, Gemini Pisces. But I feel like whoever this person is, they were very manipulative. Okay. They were very emotionally manipulative. Oof. What? 
Oh, dang. So check this out. Oh, my goodness. So we have, I like to, you know, this card to me is like the Queen of Wands. We have it reversed. We have Victory reversed. We have Deceit, which is like my Seven of Swords card and the Thinking Man. So I feel like someone here came to their senses. Someone here kind of woke up and just started to walk away. Someone here did not feel valued. Someone here, this person could have like physically abused you guys or just mentally, emotionally. Okay. So either it's the same person wanting you back or this is someone who has known that you have been through this kind of thing and they are into you because of your strength here. So let's see, my group threes, my group threes, who is into my group threes and why? Pay me, yeah, I feel like you switched up on on group three. You look unre you look reserved, you look untouchable, and you look like you're not playing any games. Sorry about my camera. I feel like you guys leveled up. And I feel like this person could be quite angry about it too. And we have candles. Yeah, I feel like someone definitely ran out of time here. You know what to do, just listen to your heart. Yeah, so I feel like you guys, um, you guys finally just did what was best for you here, all right? So my group threes, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this resonated. Please let me know. Thank you so much. And I'm going to move on to group four. Thanks, group three. Bye. Hey, group four, welcome to your reading. First of all, I just want to apologize about my fire alarm. It is chirping. It is so annoying. I know. I'm terribly sorry. But let's go ahead and hop right in and see who is into you and why, right? So we got a few cards here. So let's go ahead and see who is into you. We have these Six of Cups. How beautiful. Okay, we have the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups coming up very watery. We have the Ace of Wands. Look how beautiful that Ace of Wands is. Gorgeous. Okay, we have the Seven of Wands. And last but not least, we have the unknown card in the reverse. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm getting here. Um, someone came back from the past and someone rejected an offer because someone has now realized their boundaries. Someone now has boundaries here. Okay, I'm so sorry about the camera, but this is a storyline that I am getting, you know, if, if that doesn't resonate, then I'm just getting that who is into you, this is someone who admires uh, that you are someone with standards, you're someone with boundaries, there, there's almost an element to you that this person finds attractive that you do not settle, all right? With the unknown card in the reverse, you know what you want out of a person, you know what you want out of life, out of yourself. And if that means, you know, not just taking up any offer, um, this person digs that about you here, okay? Yet there is something soft, there is something innocent and sweet about you with the Six of Cups, but yet also something very resilient that this person admires here. 
So once again, whether this is someone you have already turned down or whether this is someone else who just gets this sense from you. But I'm definitely getting a water. Who is into you, group five? There is a water and fire sign. I feel like they have both of these signs um, in their chart. Who is into you? So we have the Knight of Pentacles reverse and the Tower, okay? So we have a strong, also a strong Scorpio coming out, okay? But I'm getting here, there was something with the Tower card here where there was some kind of destruction, there was some kind of falling out that could have happened between you guys and that you kind of just did a reroute. You stopped moving towards this person. Okay. We have the five of pentacles in the reverse. So this person sees you coming out of um, situations that made you feel less than, situations that really took away from your confidence here, okay? And with the Princess of Wands, you're kind of just off in a new direction here. You're kind of just off doing your own thing. And there's almost like new life happening for you. Please excuse my fire alarm. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this person really admires your resilience. They see that things don't keep you down for too long as well. You always rise up to the occasion. fours who is into my group fours we have indecision in the reverse okay i want to grab another card yeah so i feel like what what this person gets from you is that you're not a weak-minded person you're not someone who's you know gonna stay in situations scared to make a decision or scared what other people think it's like no you're someone who um is fast acting you're someone who is always going to try to uh, do the right thing for you here. You don't sit and wait for things to happen. It's like you go out and you do it. We have the second chakra in the reverse. So we have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius female who may be into you, uh, group four. This person is showing up in the reverse though, okay? I feel like you guys may have rejected this person. I don't know why, but I'm getting Sagittarius, Sagittarius female. You guys may have rejected this person. Or this could be a sense of what why they're into is they could see you as someone who definitely could have an attitude sometimes, okay? Like your temper can most definitely get the best of you. Let's 
go ahead and choose from another deck here. are enough yeah you guys know your worth you guys know what you deserve you guys don't really care what people think about you My group five or group fives, group fours, who is into my group fours? You know what to do, just listen to your heart. Yes, you guys are always going to do what's best for you, going to try to do the, you know, things like that, all right? And this person just really admires and likes that, you know, sometimes you do make mistakes or, you know, things don't turn out perfectly, right? But you always get up, you always fight, you still have strong boundaries and you, you listen to your heart, you lead with your heart here. You don't really give into temptations very much. All right. I feel like you guys could be very attractive people as well. Or you guys don't really care uh, about your appearance sometimes. You don't care what people think about you. Yeah, I feel like you guys could always look pretty clean cut though. You have this desk. I mean, look how organized it looks, right? So this person could like that you, you know, you're very stable within yourself. You're very tidy, very clean. I feel like this person could like your aesthetic but you're someone who's going to try to do the right thing, the best thing for you. Okay, so group four, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if it resonated. I know, pretty short reading. Uh, and I also have $5 readings on my website. Website will be down below in the description box. Thanks so much, group four, and I'll see you in my next reading.